What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on another powerful Windows 10 mini PC slash TV box which also has a hard drive caddy. So this is the B-Link S1 mini PC. So as usual we'll run our full performance test including HD videos, gaming, benchmarks and we'll see how it ranks in our top mini PC performance chart comparing it to other popular mini PCs. So this also supports a 2.5 inch hard drive and you also got expansion for the M2 SSDs. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the Intel N3450 quad core running at 2.2 GHz. The GPU is the Intel HD 500 graphics. You got 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version 4. You got a full activated version of Windows 10 Home and this also supports 4K videos at 60 frames per second. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, a power adapter, you got two HDMI cables, a short one and a long one. This also comes with a mount and some screws, so you can actually attach this on the back of your television. And last but not least, the B-Link S1. So here it is guys, this is the B-Link S1. You've got this reflective shiny finish at the top um, with the world map and the B-Link logo. On the front you have a built-in microphone, a USB Type-C port, two full-size USB 3 ports, micro SD card slot, a power indicator and a physical power button. If we keep going you've got some vents on the sides and on the back of the unit you have a Kensington lock, a small reset hole above that, the power socket, a VGA port, HDMI out, your network LAN, two standard USB 2 ports and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So on this side you also have some vents and we're back to the front and this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. So I just opened these two screws and this is your 2.5 inch hard drive caddy. If I just open the door you can see your SATA connection there. So here's my 500 GB SATA hard drive. I believe you can use up to 4 TB hard drives in this. So you've got a nice secure fit there. So I've installed my 500 GB hard drive um, and I look forward to seeing how that performs. You have two screw connections there and that's going to be for the mounts. So you can mount it to the back of your television. So as you can see this is quite a nicely designed uh, mini PC box. However this does look a little larger than what we have seen in the past. So to compare the size I'm going to bring in the B-Link M1. Okay side by side. So you can see the S1 is considerably bigger all the way around and in thickness and the B-Link S1 is also slightly thicker. Um, I'm also going to compare this to the H96 Max, which is one of the smallest Android TV boxes you can get, just to give you guys an idea of what to expect. Okay, so now I'm going to get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card, and we're going to find out how good this TV box performs. I'll be right back. So I just powered on the B-Link S1 mini PC and ran a boot up speed test, and it took 25 seconds to boot to the desktop from a cold start. Now let's have a quick look at system properties. As you can see, we have the N3450 quad core with eight gigs of RAM and a 64-bit version of Windows 10 Home fully activated and ready to use. And here is the system storage information. This mini PC comes with 64 gigs of internal storage from which there is 43 gigs available to use. You can also see my 500 GB SATA hard drive is there and ready to use. I did not configure anything, it was simply plug and play. So if I just open my hard drive, you will see my collection of favourite videos and movies all ready to play at a click of a button. So this mini PC supports all video formats including 4K at 60 frames per second. Ready, fight! Round two underway. So this is the full version of Windows 10 Home and comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect including the Windows App Store so you can download all your favourite games and apps. So this mini PC is capable of playing 4K video at 60 frames per second. So that is the first thing I like to test. So let's go ahead and play some 4K and HD video samples from a USB drive. Only a 
win for Barca would be enough because it would. So that was the 4K video samples. Let's move on now to the YouTube 4K test. So you can stream a maximum of 4K resolution on YouTube. something more something darker every civilization so that was youtube 4k and 1080p streaming and it was great this mini pc is also capable of running 4k videos on netflix and as you can see the video sample is smooth and looks absolutely stunning the next thing I had to test is PlayStation 4 remote play game streaming. I was able to connect immediately with no issues and streaming and playing my PlayStation 4 games on this mini PC looked and played very nice indeed. Good. Now then. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. So now I'm going to try a game out from the Windows App Store and we'll see how that plays. Browsing the web feels nice and fast. I tested out Chrome and Firefox web browsers and found that Microsoft Edge browser was the best optimized for Windows 10 and offered the fastest web browsing performance. Now this is a very powerful mini PC and I want to demonstrate the multitasking capabilities. So I'll open up a whole load of apps at the same time and we will see how well the system copes. So I have multiple applications open and running in the background, two games at the same time, Candy Crush and this buggy racing game. And playing this game with all tasks running in the background, you can see that it plays very smooth with no lag. So you have quite a decent amount of RAM and a well-optimized system. So this mini PC has a built-in mic and I want to test that out by using Cortana. Hey Cortana, sing me a song. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Hey Cortana, tell me a joke. What did the pony say when it sang with a sore throat? Sorry, I'm just a little horse. Navigate to Leicester Square. Sure. Getting you directions to Leicester Square Theatre, London. In the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 23 and upload speeds of 9. This is quite a decent result considering the top speed I currently get is between 20 to 30 megabits per second. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we have an incredible benchmark score of 118,505. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2017, showing you the latest mini Windows PCs and seeing how they compare with each other. So the B-Link S1 has taken over the number one spot with an amazing benchmark score of 118,000. Furthermore, I have a lot more mini PCs coming to the channel soon, so stay tuned to see how well they perform. So there you have it guys, that was the B-Link S1 mini PC. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So here are my pros and cons I could find for this mini PC. 
So this mini PC is basically the same as the B-Link M1 which I have already previously reviewed. But in this new model, the B-Link S1, you have double the RAM, a built-in microphone, a 2.5 inch hard drive caddy and multiple very convenient expansion ports on the front such as USB 3, micro SD, USB Type-C and a few others. You can play and stream 4K content on this mini PC and it can handle it very nicely including 4K streaming services such as Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Hulu etc. Gaming from the Windows Store and game streaming services such as PS4 and Xbox One worked superb with no issues at all. I also played some Windows games for around 2 hours and whilst the unit did get a little hot it was nothing that worried me, performance was still good and I experienced no lag or issues. The hard drive caddy is so useful and I love having access to my library of videos playable at a click of a button. You can also connect a keyboard and a mouse or a game controller. It's perfectly capable for general office applications, email, web browsing, games and maybe even some light editing work. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description box so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.